we're like this, no drone zone. Good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So we're in the car today, and as you'll see from the thumb, just gonna be doing a six month review. I actually can't believe that it's now been six months since I've had the car. It seems to have gone by very quickly. I know there's 10 million reviews of these GTIs, sevens, 7.5s. But, again, there's no reviews of a ruby black GTI anywhere on YouTube. So, I have that uniqueness. So if you're a follower of the channel, subscriber, thanks if you are. If you're not, make sure you smash it. If you're not a subscriber, then for this video only, if you hit the subscribe, I'll come round your house and clean out your gutters for you. Anyway, so as you'll see as well, six months, 13 modifications. I've no idea how much money I've spent on this car other than the price that it cost. Ooh, my bump hole. So this might be a bit of an eye-opener for me as well, to see how much money I have actually spent since buying the car. 13 modifications that would class as modifications. There's other little aesthetic things as well. No idea where I am. The car's definitely not perfect. The bonnet looks like whoever owned the car previously drove two centimetres behind a gritter for an hour. So that definitely needs to get done. I am slightly biased, I would say, about the car because this is my third GTI. Mark 5, Mark 6, and a 7.5. This 7.5, I have to say, is my favourite of all of the cars. I love the look of it. I love the ruby black. Hence the name Ronnie Black, because all my cars are boys, as I've said before in a video. It's a really easy drive when you're cruising. And since the remap, this thing really shifts. Luckily for all of you watching, if you do want to see any of the modifications that have happened, they are documented on my channel. I don't know why you've not watched them already. So, it's a 7.5 facelift version. It's a 2018. When I bought it, as you'll see from my videos, I was under the assumption that it was 242 brake horsepower, but it wasn't. It was actually 280, which we didn't realize until I went down to get it remapped. So anyway, we got it to 315. And now it really shoots. I've done plenty of driving videos. Check back on my channel for all the driving videos that I've done. Loved every one of them. Intake is my most favorite noise this car makes. The muffler delete, the noise that makes, it's 
like a snake hissing at you. Silicon pipes around the turbo, all making the airflow a lot smoother. I'm not one of these guys on these YouTube channels for part numbers and this, that and the other. I'll get a little bit technical, but not massively. That's just not me. I just love the cars. I love driving them. I love having to go doing the modifications myself, which I've been doing. I think the next thing to come for this car definitely needs to be some springs. Lower, maybe 15, 20 mil. Make it a bit stiffer on the road, because it does bounce around a lot. Certainly where I take the Golf R out to do drives about for the channel. This GTI wouldn't handle some of the roads that I've taken the R on. Let's get stuck into their mods, drilled and grooved discs, and brake pads. <sighs> 19 inch Pretoria alloys. <sighs> 
Miltech cap back Puma Speed exhaust. Rear diffuser. TCR style. Real. Cheeky stickers, wind deflectors, GT performance red badge. Little bit of racing line, cheeky badge. Maxton design side skirts. Maxton design front splitter. Second pair of carbon fibre wing mirror covers. Thief that took them. You're on my ring doorbell camera and you're going on YouTube. Piper cross cold air intake. Turbo muffler delete. Silicon hoses around the turbo. So I think my favourite thing about the car really has got to be the colour. 7.5 I just love the uplift from the 7. Interior is just the normal cloth seats with a grey GTO pattern on them. Little GTI mats with a red trim. These little door latch covers as well with the GTI on. And because we're out at this quite quiet place, why don't we do a quick blast on the exhaust and a little go on the air intake as well. Warm start. So I'd say it's been a good six months. I've thoroughly enjoyed having the car. I've thoroughly enjoyed doing the modifications to it. They're definitely not finished. I'd really like to meet a few more Ruby Black GTIs. I've seen one on Instagram now. Now I don't have unlimited funds. The money I had for the car was the money I had for the car. That's what I budgeted. So I would say I was pretty much at the end of doing the modifications for now. Next thing will be the intercooler and it will need the new clutch if I want to go any quicker in terms of horsepower. It'll definitely need the springs changed to get a bit stiffer. Um, and a little bit lower on the car as well. Maybe just a little bit lower. Just so I can stop having it bouncing around so much when I'm driving around, particularly on a lot of these roads that I drive around here. I'd like to be able to take both cars on the same roads to do a good comparison of the two. So I'll finish off, we'll jump in the car and I'll have a little blast to home. Let's go. Okay, let's head for home. quick car as I've said go back and watch the other driving videos if you want to this is a little bit of a cheeky road to go back down to home to you will see this road on my other videos as well again look at that we can see all the way down again this is the road it's very tracked so you have to be careful as you come around this bend here it does drag you into these bushes Near everything working well though. It just wants to go, this car does. So as a review, you want to buy one? Definitely buy one. So somebody commented on my channel that, that they've got the choice of an old S3, an older R, or a newer GTI to pick. That's me for my opinion. That's an eye blower. Any one of them will do you. So would I do it all again? Would I pick the same car? Would I do the same modification? I don't know what that tally comes to yet because I've not edited. But I would say it was 100% yes. I would do everything exactly the same again. I've had so much fun having this car. I can't ever imagine a time where I won't have it. And I hope you all like it. So if you've liked it, 
Remember, hit the subscribe, hit the like, that all helps. And I will come round and clean out your gutters for you. I'll see you next time, everybody. Ta da! I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never captain